Hello, Veta121 here. Welcome back. And we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest 8. And the turkey drops a garter for us. Well, gee, thanks for the garter. But more importantly, the Gemin drops a seed of skill. Yes, very nice. Absolutely. Impossible! No human could be so strong. Well, we are. Of course. Imperia. She brought you here from the world of light to defeat me. What a fool to think she could get the better of me. If I die, I'm taking her egg with me. <laughs> Regret the day she tried to trick Gemin. Uh oh. Oh no, we couldn't save the egg. What was that noise? What? What happened? My egg. My baby. In pieces. Imperia. I. I'm so sorry. Do not blame yourselves. I should never have put you in this position. I am truly sorry for having brought you here and for subjecting you to such a bitter experience. I will take you back to the Eye so you may return to the world of light. Mother, wait! Whoa. My baby? Yes, it's me, Mother. Do not feel sad. Well, it's a ghost. I wanted to give something to the people who came to help me. To thank them. Give them something? But you're... I know, Mother, but I can still help them. I am just a soul. I have no form. But if they lend me their bodies, I can make them fly. Really? Let me travel with you. I can help you. Okay. It is true. If my child can be of help to you on your quest, I hope you will accept. Please grant my son his wish to accompany you. Um, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot express my gratitude enough. I will change into a form that you can carry around with you. Whenever you need me, just call. All right. And do we have anything to say right now? And nobody has anything to say right now? Oh, okay. Can we talk to Imperia? And wow, they're just a bunch of mutes. Alright, we get the Godbird Soul Stone. Hell yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, we can only use it in the world of light. And okay, Imperia is going to carry us, I guess. <laughs> nice. And just like that, we should be back in the world of lights. Well, that was a singularly unusual affair. Yeah, I'll say. To think, there is a whole other world. If I hadn't witnessed it with my own eyes, I'm quite sure I would never have believed it. And if that strange eye wasn't there, I'd be convinced it had all been a dream. Yeah. Very true. Alright, I'll be right back.
Alright, what do our party members have to say right now? Yeah, we have Imperious Sun to help us out. Yeah, absolutely. Why is it... Why is it... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, we... It's good that we can go back there whenever we want and talk with Imperia. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, we kind of screwed up. We couldn't save her for sun or anything, so yeah, that does kind of suck. Yeah. Thought she was going to go ballistic. I guess that's why she's a god bird. Poker? I guess, man, but I don't think I don't think a godbird's ever gonna play poker, to be quite honest. Anyways, uh, if you've been if you have played Dragon Quest 3 before, this th next theme you should hear uh, should sound familiar. I personally have not played Dragon Quest 3, but uh, it makes me want to play Dragon Quest 3. It really does. Yeah, the controls are different, and you can hit the circle button, and he will tell us the controls. Yes, we couldn't reach locations before, but now we can reach a lot more locations that we couldn't. Yes, let, let us find the elusive rap thorn. Yeah, I'm just going to shut my yap for this part right here. I'm just going to be flying around. It's going to be awesome. Oh, there's the Godbird's Eerie right there. Yeah, I'm just going to be uh, enjoying this awesome theme here and flying around the world. Alexandria Tower, Alexandria, Fairbury, yeah, yeah, this is one of the best flying themes I've ever heard in any game, period, it's just awesome. That's how you pronounce it. It's right on its tower. Marta's Cottage. Right there. Ah, yes. 
This is just great. Hope you guys don't mind me uh, spending the whole episode flying around. I'm just enjoying flying around, you know? I mean, this, this is just so damn awesome. I mean, it really is. You know, I don't even like doing this in Final Fantasy games, but for some reason in this game, I just really, really enjoy flying around. Yeah, that's Lord High Priest's mansion there. Ah, uh, yes, Trodane. And right there is a little prison, kind of like uh, Alcatraz or something. Look at the moon. Oh wait, I'm at the Godbird's Eerie again? Okay. But yeah, if you hold down the X button, you can fly a lot faster than what I've been doing. I've just been, you know, flying around, enjoying the scenery. That's Argonia over there. I think. Yeah, it's Argonia. And yes, you have the uh, Northwestern Island with the dark ruins. Yeah, there's a secret area, there's an area we couldn't get to before, but now that we have the God Bird, we can get there, but of course, I'm not going to go there just yet, I'm just going to fly around and enjoy, because, yeah, this is just awesome. Minnie's, Minnie's Island right there ahead of us. And there's actually something I never knew about or actually forgot about. Over here on the southwestern part of the world map, there's actually an island over here. Or maybe a couple islands that, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, this must be it. Yeah, you can get a couple treasures on that island. I, uh, well, I honestly, uh, didn't know about it, and, uh, I will be going there. I hope they're good treasures. I don't really know if they will be or not. Like I said, I hope you guys don't mind me screwing around. Dragon Graveyard. that wasteland where we found the magical ship. You know, sadly, now that we have the God Bird, uh, we don't really need the ship at all anymore, which is, uh, well, it's kind of sad because I like the theme for the, uh, ship as well. Alright, there's that 
waterfall cave hut there. Good stuff. And yeah, I might as well show off the controls. Those are the controls. There's land, there's maps, accelerate, and yeah, if your if your shadow is illuminated, then you can land. If it's not illuminated, you cannot land. And then the analog stick is used to bank left, right, descend, and ascend. So there you go.